This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this van. It is a 2014 Honda Odyssey. It is an EXL. It's front wheel drive. It's 3.5 liter. Uh, it has a, just over 100,000 miles. 100,030 miles. Um, it was a new car dealer traded in El Paso. Purchased it, brought it here. Uh, did our inspection. It needed absolutely nothing. It almost didn't need a detail, but we did it anyway. It was Friday afternoon when we got it. So we don't work on weekends, so we sent it to detail. And now it's Monday, and now it's really clean. Aside from a couple little scuffs and stuff, it has nothing going on. Uh, let's see. Sold the wheel connects on a green light. Why? Means the dealer selling it guarantees it mechanically and structurally. If it has problems, the seller owes buyer full refund uh, plus shipping and any other cost. Uh, for a uh, vehicle over 100,000 miles, a uh, seller loved it and felt very good about selling this minivan as a guaranteed vehicle. So when we bought it, we bought it as a green light vehicle from the dealer. Um, and that, that's very rare, over 100,000 miles. Now this is barely there, but that means they really like this a lot because they know it's going to ship out of state. And if it's not what they said it was, um, they have to take it back and pay the shipping. So they liked it. A little bit of touch-up paint right there would be nice. Boy, it's really straight. Really pretty van. My job in these videos is not to tell you what you want to hear or tell you something that's uh, not true or exaggerate. My job in these videos is to make sure that uh, you know what you're buying and uh, the only way to do that is to tell you the bad and the good and really accentuate the bad. This little rock chip right there. It's not my job to tell you anything but the truth. We don't have a problem. There's a little scrape, obviously dragging stuff out of the back. Um, we'll have 800 to 1,000 people a day see this vehicle. So there's absolutely no sense in uh, in telling you something that's not true or exaggerating um, somebody will love it just the way it is um, so out of those 800 people if you're at a new car dealership place guess what they have to uh, sell it pretty much the only person who ever hops in it on their dealership property and so they will tell you whatever they need to tell you because only one person will see it all month well I will have 800 see it a day so if we tell people the truth good and bad um, the right person will end up in it and there'll be no drama and that's the way we like it okay so let's start off first I'm gonna show you the Kelly blue book on this for an EXL minivan with hundred thousand thirty miles it would be da -da -da -da, Kelly blue book sixteen thousand three hundred and something kind of cut off with that ad there um, the Carfax here's your Carfax for it okay there's your VIN first of all okay History of events affecting this value, vehicle's value. Carfax blends the Kelly Blue Book and the history, good or bad. Um, and they come up with a value of 18160. No accidents or damage reported. Ba -ba -ba -ba. No major title problems, which is great, obviously. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Services. Boy, they took care of it. Um, very well taken care of. That. Bum, bum, bum. And then I bought it. 99,988 miles I bought it with. All right. Let's see. Let's go into the hood. Let me fire this guy up first. Let's see. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? 100,051 miles. stuff there nothing real interesting there except my guys hand me a vehicle with no gas in it that's always helpful today is not the day to have your employer walking so hopefully for their sake I don't walk gosh now I gotta figure out how to get the hood up there it is There it is. I was pulling up when it goes to the right. There's your hood release. And it goes like this. 
not like that. All right, there's your VIN on the hood. So you know you got an original hood. There's your VIN on the passenger fender. Should be another one right there. Looks perfect, straight. Everything's where it belongs, all original parts. It passes. All right, window up and down. Seat back forward and back. Slide forward and back. Got a full manual in here. Let's see, what do you got here? A little hook or something? It's kind of interesting. All right, let's see. Got the keys in my pocket, so let's make sure the remote door works, right? I'm not sure if it's, oh, maybe it's this side. Oh, you know what? You can't use the remote door when you're not in the car and it's running. I want to do that anyway. I think that's important to demonstrate. So I'm going to turn this car off. Off. Then, I'll do this. Oh, this is the wrong side. There, that's that side. All right, so there you go there. Okay, I'm gonna open up the other side now too. And then I'll start it again and we'll do all the, ah, I hit, keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, this one is for this side. There you go, you just have to have an IQ higher than a door. That's all. Okay. Now it's running. So let's see, we'll start over here, might as well. So let's see, I gotta get in, huh? Yes, I do. All right, close the door. There's your window switch right here. There's your window up and down. Here's your blackout thingamajiggers there. All right. Let me open that for you real quick. That works fine. We'll close it. There's that. Window up and down. Boom. There you go. Okay. Now I gotta escape. Let's see. Oh, open. All right. And close. All right. Window. Window. Window window mirrors out in up and down other side out in up and down that was a little slow that one's a little bit slow barely moving but it's moving forward back up down tilt forward and back all right open open and hatch there you go okay now we're gonna close and close and close all right we demoed all that I think we have a yeah we do we have a tilt wheel right here here's your tilt wheel all right, let's hop in here. Oh, the AC is awesome, and it's freaking 5,000 degrees today. Thought we were done right at Labor Day weekend, but apparently not. Apparently we have to bake for a little while longer. Let's see, oh, there you go. There's your roof. All right, this. Radio on. Let's see. Scan. How do you scan? I'm not sure. How. Steering controls. Boom, boom. That's changing the station of the steering. Mode. FM, XM, blah, blah, blah. That's that. Air conditioning, you could turn it on to rear air. 
now it's on low obviously you can do the settings from the back the fan up and down here cruise control shows up right there and we hit the gate open up the gate cup holder here auxiliary here let's see what else we got in here oh usb port here power here cool box this must be a cooler huh i guess that's a cool box in the middle all right let's go for a ride i did not know it had a cooler box it's kind of cool literally cool um let's see all right if you come to tucson to drive this van home you'll pay the following you'll pay your state tax rate whatever that is plus our city tax of 2.7 and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. We even scan in the, on, uh, the uh, uh, we even scan in the envelope we mail it in. You will have the uh, Odyssey shipped to you you already have the title in the mail before it shows up. Once it shows up by your shipper, you'll take the title you already have and the Odyssey to your local motor vehicles and get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, please let us know early in the transaction. I can help you. I can do it. It's got a right-hand turn camera also, which is nice. Um, uh, if you need help, let us know early, okay? Um, that way I can get it to, to you a little bit faster. Some people wait till the end and they're like, yeah, I want some shipping. You know, if I were working on it, the whole time you'd add it a week earlier okay um, or you could do it yourself a lot of people know how to do it and have done ship cars many times and you're welcome to do that we just want you to have your car as fast as possible if you don't know how you should probably have me do it for you okay um, what else uh, blah, 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 blah. deposits $500 once we have a deposit we have a deal until then it will stay for sale make sure you get your deposit in quickly last part of every video I say the same thing every single time um, and have for thousands of vehicles in 15, 14 years. Uh, we don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have salesmen. Uh, we don't have an attendant serving lattes and scones. We don't have a game room. Uh, we don't have a pretty property with fountains and perfect pavement. We have terrible pavement and uh, razor wire night vision cameras. And if you want to watch meth heads walk around, you can cops are out there all the time keeping an eye on our place so their cars are safe with all that stuff but uh, you, you don't have to pay much for that type of thing <laughs> so when you go to the auto mall which is a mile half mile east of here you are paying for all that stuff every single time you're also paying for future repairs they know that when something breaks on this van that you buy from them you're gonna come in and say fix my van um, we're not fixing your van so you're not paying for that you're paying for that they're charge an extra five or six hundred dollars just for that so between salesmen lattes location bottle water with their name on it all that crap you're paying thousands more to them we don't charge you for that stuff okay uh, because you don't get it uh, and that's great because who wants salesmen who needs a latte all that crap you just want a car and the truth uh, if there was something wrong with this vehicle you would know about it whatever's wrong you know about it just like we do right now okay um, but you have to know that on day one, you're the owner. We're not writing checks for anything from the second you're the owner on, okay? Beautiful ride. This thing's obviously well-maintained. Pretty car. Runs and drives great. Uh, but you never know. I mean, if one day a window motor decides to, take, ugh, decides to take a crap or the radio decides not to tune into your favorite station, just every other station, <laughs> or you know the cigarette lighter decides to stop working I don't know whatever it is um, you're gonna fix it with your money you're saving a pound of money buying from us use that on future repairs I don't think you can have a future repair it's a Honda okay they run great all the time and so does this one um, but we just like people to know what the rules are okay how we roll yeah see see our nice roads this is what happens when you have the wrong party in power uh, hopefully that doesn't offend the wrong party I think we know who the wrong party in power is um, if you don't you're probably delusional and you need help um, because uh, we pay here we pay 6.1 percent state and 2.7 percent city and that's what our road looks like I mean 
Now, if you go down to Scottsdale or Phoenix or anywhere in Phoenix, even the hood in Phoenix, they don't have a single road that looks like that. And it doesn't matter if they're driving army tanks down the road, they don't look like that. Anyway, there's my political stand. Um, so I probably just cut off half the people, which is fine. Uh, I think that's about it. There's your uh, controls for the rear air right there. Actually, I should probably go there and demo a little bit for you. Uh, up, down, boom, boom, boom. Temperature, oh, it was already on low, so that's going up with the temperature, right? Change the modes, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Okay, I think that's about it. I'm gonna let my brother take some photos now. Turn off the cruise control. There you go, thank you for your time.